Your turn, go. Oh, yep. pleasure to meet you. I'm uh, Travis, working with Japanime Games. Uh, basically, we're demoing a few games here. Uh, this is Crossmaster Arena. Uh, it's a 3D kind of action board game. Uh, it's Battle Arena Tactics based. Uh, the best way to kind of package it in a sentence, it's like Final Fantasy Tactics and a board game MOBA in one piece. Uh, basically, characters kind of get together and duke it out in the arena. Uh, you build teams, kind of have point, each one to have their own point values. Um, and then you usually build a team of anywhere from three to eight characters, and then you battle against an opponent. Uh, it's two to four players. It lasts about uh, 30 to 45 minutes for an average session. Um, and the, outside of having your characters, there are things that influence other things in the arena. You can collect gold to buy items, new spells, weapons, uh, things like that, to kind of give you an extra edge against your opponents. Um, it would be interesting if anybody's interested in demoing here. We'll be at uh, booth one one three nine, the whole show, uh, and the game is also available as a PC game. Uh, it's the exact same thing. Uh, so when you actually play, you can play on the board game, and you get codes for each character to play online. Uh, so you can play the exact same thing online at any. Time as well as trying a board game with your friends. So, could you do a quick, uh, say, combat or? Uh, yeah, so basically, so each character has their own values. So, Anatomy here uh, has three movement, 12 health, and uh, six AP. So, movement and health are pretty explanatory. Uh, you get knocked out when you run out of health, and AP is used to cast spells. Each character has a spell that they can use that has a range. For example, like this is in a straight line from one to two, this is in line of sight to one to three. Uh, so this is the range, this is its cost, so each turn you get 6 AP to spend, and each of her spells costs 3, so she can do 2 spells per turn uh, until she's out of AP. And then on the side here is damage, so by, this has a base of 1 green damage. They also have special effects. She's kind of a teleporter, um, she can kind of switch places with allies to position them better, as well as switch places with opponents to put them in worse spots. Um, so for example, let's say we have Anatomy here, and she's charging a Bill Tell. She knows Bill Tell uh, is very weak at close range. So he only has six health, and he, once you get within three spaces of him, cannot do anything. So it's Anatomy's turn. She gets three movement. So she's going to go ahead and march two forward, and she has the ability now to use Assault. Assault does a base of one damage. So what will happen here is each defender by default gets one die. You roll, uh, tr attackers are trying to roll criticals and defenders are trying to roll defense. So this could modify the damage plus or minus one. So Anatomy gets to roll a die, and she did not roll a critical, so it's sitting at one base damage. Bill Tell gets to roll for defense. He did not roll a defense, so it's one damage, and the secondary effect is they switch places. So, and then she'll, he'll take a wound, so he only has five life left. So after he takes that damage, she still has three AP left. So say, um, say she wants um, Bada Boom here, which will go next, uh, to be in, be in range to attack because he won't be able to see uh, Bill Tell after they switch it. So he, she has her second ability, which doesn't do damage, but she can switch places with her ally by spending that three AP, putting Bada Boom in an attack position to help finish off Bill Tell on Bada Boom's next turn. So the direction your model's facing is irrelevant? Uh, no, dire direction does not matter. Uh, everything in Crossmaster is orthogonal. So there's no diagonals in Crossmaster except for line of sight. Um, there's certain things on the board. Uh, these crates give you extra line, uh, extra range on your green spells, so you can kind of stand on top of them to get extra range. You can hide behind trees. They block movement and line of sight. And these bushes, they block movement, but not line of sight. So you can kind of still shoot over them. Um, a lot of things is really comes down to positioning of your crossmasters. Bill Tell, range crossmaster, has not a lot of health, so you want to kind of sit him in the back row, popping shots at your opponents, while your frontline tanks like Oscar Cass here do all the damage for you and kind of protect the rest of your crew. All right. Any other questions right off the bat? No, I think that's all. All right. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, we'll be here all weekend. It's a pleasure uh, meeting with you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.